y'all, I don't know what else to say. This is my second attempt to do this video. YouTube don't like me. They've been shadow banning me. Okay, I'm gonna try to do this video again, but guys, go ahead and click on the like button. Help my videos stay up. I only got 200 subscribers. How is it possible that YouTube is shadow banning me? But anywho, guys, we are gonna talk about Agenda 2030, the mousetrap, and how we ask the inorganic beings to be here. Yes, they are our alarm clock. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. A year ago, I had a near-death like experience and ever since then I could pick up on energies and I can even hear from God itself. I was told it would take my soul 14,422 lifetimes to get it together. So I decided to start a social media platform so I could help more people speed this thing on up and finally get the heck up off this planet. Stressful being human. Ready to go. <laughs> Guys, welcome back to Instructions for Humanity. It's your girl, your spiritual teacher, Tahira. You know I teach the message, we are all one in love. Grow with me, guys. Love with me. It's going to be a great ride. Guys, I'm so sorry. I'm under the weather, but please subscribe to the channel. Please click on the notification bell. Second attempt to do this video. Guys, I don't know what I'm saying to cause the algorithm to be hating on me. Obviously what I'm saying has some merit to it. Okay guys, very important video. We're gonna talk about how the elites hijacked our 222 portal. I told you guys once before, the government, this new government that we are entering, they want to own you in your entirety. They want you to get your bed, your bread, and your butter all from them. BBB. That is the second letter of the alphabet. Two, two, two. The inorganic beings understand that their time is running out. See, the 222 portal was a call for us spark souls from the cosmos to awaken to the fact that we are all one in love. But uh, this uh, demonic inorganic uh, governments around the world have hijacked that portal. And so they are trying to turn everything into one, but not for us, for the collective. Turn everything into one where they own everything and you own nothing. And that is what Agenda 2030 is. You're going to own nothing. And you're going to be just so happy about it. Not my normal setup, guys. I've been traveling the past few weeks. I'm under the weather. My face is swollen, allergies and all of that. So bear with me. I'm going to try to get through this very important video. But how are they going to get you to own nothing and be happy? Guys, remember George Floyd? Remember the video that rang out around the world where you saw that cop with the smug look on his face? have his knee, I believe it was, on George Floyd's neck. And he was saying that he couldn't breathe. And then flash forward to the row row and people couldn't physically breathe. People were on breathing machines. I lost one of my brothers to that. But guys, that's how they're gonna get you to own nothing and be happy. Because what I always tell you guys is the matrix runs off consent. You yourself have to agree to it. And how we agree to it is we give it our energy. And that is how we agree to all these things. So when we saw the George Floyd situation, they said, this is what's gonna happen to you. See, we didn't understand that George Floyd was all of us. And you had black and white people out there feuding and fighting against each other. People out there marching and praying, praying and marching. Guys, that's not how you get things done on the earth school. You have to go into the spirit if you wanna change things here on the physical earth plane, okay? So they already told you that we're gonna George Floyd, all of you guys, and then the row row came and that's what they did. Okay, so that was the first way they're gonna get you to own nothing and be happy second way they're gonna get you is all this inflation going on guys stock market crash housing market bubble approaching gas 
prices soaring high. I think it's like an average of $5 per, per gallon around the country. Food shortage, food prices are higher. Now you can barely breathe financially. You're just trying to keep your, your head above water. So that is the second way where they're gonna get you to own nothing and be happy because now you cannot breathe financially. So they're trying to cut off your air supply. And so when they bring the solution to you, problem reaction solution, when they bring it to you, you're gonna be so happy. You're gonna beg for it. You're gonna beg for what they are bringing. You're gonna beg for the handouts. You're gonna beg for the social housing, AKA the C camps. If you know what I mean. Apparently I can't say that because I think that's why they took this video down, but you know what a C camp is. Or you enter, but you may not exit. You know what I mean. So guys, Stop giving these things your energy. Stay out of all these herd mentalities, all these TikTok challenges, all of these um, mass shootings, all of these hoax. Stop giving it your energy. Just go within. The answer is always the same, guys. Go within. Meditate. That is how we are going to heal ourselves and heal our nation and our earth as well. So, guys... One thing I want to talk about is going back to those sea camps. I told you guys how the uh, government of San Francisco was buying up large multi-units. When I say large, I mean they're going to have hundreds of thousands of units, even millions around the country. So you're just going to start there. They're testing it out in San Francisco, but of course they're going to roll it out everywhere. Guys, I, I don't think you noticed that a lot of your malls are closing down too. A lot of these big office buildings, people are working from home now. Have you ever thought what they're going to do with all of those buildings, all those empty buildings? I think they're just going to let those sit empty. See, the world is crashing down now on purpose. They have to get you to the breaking point. They have to bring you to your knees. They have to George Floyd you so that you can't breathe. So when they bring the solution, you're gonna beg for it. You're gonna beg for it. And that is how you give it your consent, okay? So all those empty buildings, those are gonna be your C camps. And it's not gonna be the traditional C camps like back in the day. It's gonna be controlled areas where they can see everything that you're doing, where they have, you know, uh, they're controlling your energy, they're controlling, you know, the, the gas, they're controlling the electric, everything going on inside of your, your household, even down to the people that are living with you. They may even have it where family members are living with different families, grouping people together on purpose so it's not gonna be like i don't think it's gonna be this this thing where people are getting you know um i can't say that word guys i have to be careful i don't think it's gonna be the old school c camps it's gonna be the new school where you're gonna think it's a blessing because the housing market is not, never gonna be the same i know a lot about real estate it's never gonna be the same they're doing this on purpose so that you cannot have your american dream your house, your white picket fence, and your 2.5 kids, you can't have that. So the C camps, the new age C camps are going to be the answer, and you're going to beg for it. Okay. Hmm. So the middle class is going away. This is all to bring us into the new world. This is all to bring us into the one government, which was really the one consciousness. See, the 222 portal was all about bringing us back to a one consciousness. We have been individual consciousnesses for so long. We've been doing this for eons of years, guys. We, as divine sparked minds of the multiverse, of source, we agreed to come and play in these matrix games. We agreed to separate ourselves from the whole consciousness, which is the divine source, God. 
and source exploded out, we became individual pieces, individual universes, galaxies, planets, stars, souls, animals, atoms, molecules, all of that stuff. And we've been doing this for eons of years switching roles back and forth, knowing how it feels to be a blade of grass, knowing how it feels to be a queen, an emperor, knowing how it feels to be to be nothingness, to be a rock. We've been switching roles. Now the 222 portal was all about bringing all of that back together, all that information back together into the whole, into the one divine source mind. And that is how we gain our power. That is how we defeat the inorganic beings. It is with the one consciousness. But see, they have hijacked that with their BBB. They have streamlined it. Instead of the one consciousness, they want to bring you into the one world government. BBB, 222. Okay, so they've hijacked our movement and that is why everything is so hard guys that's why the housing market that's why the stock market is falling that is why the, the gas prices and the inflation and the food shortage that is what is going on it is a mouse trap mouse trap 2030 it is a mouse trap they're dangling the carrot they're causing all the problems all of these are caused all of these things that are going on can be stopped even this whole war going on can be stopped. It's all being caused. All of it is man-made. All of it. And so when they bring you the carrot on the stick, when they bring you that piece of cheese, because you haven't been able to afford cheese for all this time, they're going to just put it on a string, keep dangling and dangling and dangling it, and they're not going to catch you in their mousetrap. Mousetrap 2030, Agenda 2030. You're gonna own nothing and you're gonna be happy about it. So that's what's going on, guys. I wouldn't be surprised when they roll out the BBB. Okay, the first one is what? Bread. They're gonna give you your daily bread. What is that? Is that that universal income they're talking about? Are they gonna give everyone a set amount of money to live off of? That is the first beast. That's your bread. Then they're gonna give you the butter. What's the butter? It is the little extras, the materialism. You know, this is a world of, we are living in the material world, girl. It is a material, material world. You don't remember that song. What's that Madonna? But anywho, guys, that's what's going on. They're gonna give you the little extras. So you're gonna be like, it ain't so bad. But this one world government, it ain't so bad. Look, I got a food voucher for Mickey D's, where I can eat that suspect GMO manipulated DNA meat. I'm telling you, that's what's gonna happen. So not only will they be controlling where you live in those sea camps, they're also gonna be controlling your food because you're only gonna have a certain amount of money. But they're gonna give you vouchers, don't worry, so that you can eat at the places that they lead you to, the mousetrap. And so that's gonna be your butter. They're gonna give you just a little extra so you can go out and enjoy just a little bit of luxury. That's what they do in, in the United Kingdom. I used to live there for a little while. That's what they do. Everyone's on these social housing. Ain't nobody working over there. I'm telling you those people, nobody working. They getting money, a lot of money from the system, taking care of their housing and their food and they even go on holiday. I'm like, dang, this is great. But they have those people locked, locked in. They can't move, really. They, they can't move, guys. It's not free. They are all just part of the system. And that is how the queen stays in power. She knows that she has to give you just a little bit extra, a little bit of butter on your bread. So that's what they're going to do here. So you got your bed. You got your uh, so bread, butter, and then your bed, which are the seat camps. And I'm calling it that because that is exactly what it's going to to be if you can't you know go ahead and turn your thermostat to a certain you know temperature 
without somebody turning it back off. If you can't just be with your own family in your house, it has to be other strangers in there with you. Then that's exactly what it is. You don't, you're not going to own it. So you're not going to be able to control the rules in it, guys. But it's not going to be the traditional way that you're thinking. You're going to beg for it because they're going to make life so bad these next few years. That knee that they had on George's neck, that's what they have on us right now with all of these things, guys. That's what they're doing. They don't want you to breathe because they have to kill off the old world. They have to choke it out so they can bring in the new world so you can beg for it. So the new world, the one world government is going to be your new Lord and Savior. That is what is going on. And that's why they're killing the middle class. They're killing off your jobs, if you haven't noticed. See, you guys think that the robots are coming to take over your jobs. But guys, what if I were to tell you that you are the robot? They're turning you into the robot slowly. I did a video about it. How Elon Musk wants to cipher the compassion and empathy that man has and merge it with the machine. The empathy and compassion, that is what makes our humanity. And through all of these challenges online, all of these herds and groups and movements, all these mass, you know, things going on that we're watching and we're giving our energy to, that's how they're ciphering that slowly. And when they have enough of it, they're going to merge that with the machine cue in the metaverse. That is why the metaverse is here. You're going to operate. Everything's going to be done there, even down to ordering food, going to the grocery store, paying for your electricity bills. If you want to do anything, it's going to have to be done through the metaverse. And there's going to be different metaverses because, of course, they have to make it seem like they're giving you an option guys but no matter which one you choose it's all going to benefit them and not you so there's not just going to be one metaverse that is how they're going to fool you they're going to give you the illusion of options remember i told you there's no such thing as free will here only veritables they don't need you messing up their formula so you're going to be trapped up in all of these metaverses right and your empathy and compassion is gonna be there. And the machine is the computer that you are logging in with. That's how they're gonna do it. You're not even gonna realize that it's being done. That's how they're gonna do it. So, one thing I wanna mention about everything that's going on with the stock market in particular, my brother, he's big on stocks. He called me the other day. He said, T, something's going on. He was like, these charts, they're telling a bigger story. And immediately, something went off in my spirit. And I was like, oh my God. That is how the elites are passing messages back and forth to each other. They are doing it with the charts and all of these candlesticks. When you look at the charts, you look at the, the one minute time frame, you look at the five minutes, you can look at the, you know, longer time frames, you know, five days or a month or a year. They are telling you the plan. It's in these charts. It's all hidden in plain sight. All the, the wars we're getting involved in, all of the movements, guys, they're probably laughing at us now. They're like these silly humans. They can't see it. It's all in those charts in the stock market. That's why I told you, when you go in the stock market and when it goes live, you become the livestock. They are ciphering your greed and your fear. That is what the market runs off of. And even if you're not actively trading, you're still wrapped up in it in your 401k and your pensions and all of that. So they're getting your energy too, even on a passive level, on an unconscious level. Guys, this is multi-layered. No wonder why they took this video down. They don't want me giving you this information. See, guys, this is coming from my spirit. This is coming from the one divine source mind. Because we went through the portal 222. It was a call for our collective consciousness to arise. 
Some of us have already been raptured, guys. I've already been taken. I'm already on the new earth. Not this fake new earth movement that they push, but the new or earth is the one divine mind consciousness. Understanding that there is no difference between myself and an insect, myself and a blade of grass, myself and the molecules and the ethers in the air that I breathe, that there is no difference. I've already been raptured. So that's where I'm getting the information from because it's all of us right now, everybody watching. I can feel, I can feel what's going on with you because I am you and you are me. I wouldn't have even showed up in your reality if I wasn't you, if you weren't me. They don't want me giving you this information because they can't stop it, guys. Even if you take this video down, guess what? My words will reverberate through the ethers of the universe. That is how powerful we are. Once you put words out there with intent, it's already out there. It's already out there. So you can't stop the message. You can try to, but it's already out there. So the charts are showing a bigger story. And going back to the 222 portal. See guys, what you have to understand, and I'm gonna wrap this up soon. What we must understand of where we are in this very important time in history and why all of these things are speeding up. They're at a power grab. They must have it, guys. They must have the one world government. They need it. They must have it, guys, because they know their time is up. See, the Galactic Council is already here. Years ago, I saw ships in the sky. So many ships I couldn't even count. They're already here. The ancestors are already here. They're already back. And they know that. See, they had a specified time. They're only here because we asked them to be here. They are our alarm clock, the inorganic beings. See, we are already safe in the cosmos, guys. Nothing new under the sun. We already had these metaverse goggles on in the cosmos. We've been doing this for eons of years. Guys, we are projecting a part of ourselves down here as a hologram to take part in these different matrix games, to understand how it feels to be human, to understand how it feels to be the gases in the air, to be the water, to be part of earth, to be trees, to be animals. We're already safe with source and the inorganic beings and the 222 portal. We chose all of that. These inorganic beings are our alarm clock to wake up, to tap on the shoulder. Hey kids, it's time to go in, it's time to go home, back to source. But the problem is they don't wanna leave. And that's why the Galactic Council is here. That's why the ancestors are here to say, hey, time is up. They knew they were only contracted to a specified time because whoever has time got time allowed it to them because there is no such thing as time. There isn't. Only here on the 3D plane. They know their time is up, but they don't want to leave. So instead of becoming the one consciousness, they want to become the one world government and bring in the Agenda 2030, where you will own nothing, meaning they will own everything. They will have everything. So they have hijacked our movement. They have hijacked uh, Mother God's portal for her divine sparked soul children, her children of the multiverse. And that's why this is going on. So I just want to leave you with that. I know it's hard, guys. I feel the pressure daily. I know it's hard, but we have already won. We've already won. And what you can do to get through this 
is to sit with yourself daily, guys. Go into the stillness within yourself. Sit within the dark void, the emptiness, the spaces in between of yourself, of thy soul. And say, I am the divine source, energy, God. That will give you the power to defeat anything that's showing up in your reality to the point where it no longer shows up. You won't be affected by all of this. You don't need a gun. My ancestors never had guns. We had knowledge of self. That's all you need. Guys, I think I'm gonna leave it right there for today and I'm gonna leave it right there. <laughs> I hope this message resonated with any of you beautiful people out there. Guys, go ahead and like, go ahead and subscribe. Just know that I love you. The birds, the bees, and all of the trees, they all love you too. Love is the way. Forgiveness is the key. And truth is that light that guides us home. I love you. Be well, guys.